In this video, I'm going to be going over gear shift data. I get a lot of questions about gear shifting, and there's a lot of guys that have settings wrong, not sure what settings are, um, or can't read a data log. And reading the data log will tell you if the bike should shift or not. So I'm going to go over this a little bit. Uh, there's going to be several different pieces of information that we're going to use. Um, first, you can see the shift RPM going up here, and you can either auto shift or button shift. This customer chooses the button shift. And you can see that the timing drops here down to 35 degrees during the gear shift. You can see that it, it called for second gear here. So first, second, third, fourth, and then shifted into fifth. You can see the shift light output and then the ignition cut gear change. And down here, you can also see the upshift button. So the upshift button was pushed right after the shift light output was activated each time. So you can see how long you actually hit the shift button for on each shift. You can see how long the gear change output is active. Here's a timer up here also. So if you wanted to actually um, calculate the time that it's on or the time that it's off between shifts, you can. The ignition cut during gear change. This particular bike is cutting 90% of ignition during the gear change. And you can also data log shift pressure if you wish. I always recommend data logging shift pressure as long as you have enough inputs. This can be very useful. You can see that the, this customer is actually shifting with nitrous and the pressure actually stays pretty much the same all the way across the run. Except when the actual solenoid is open. Now. This is very good data because you can see if the solenoid is sticking open or if there's a problem with your air system. I had a customer that uh, during the 1-2 gear shift one time, his pressure would just drop out of nowhere and the bike wouldn't shift past the 1-2 to two shift. And it's because his solenoid was sticking open. So um, all this data can be used to configure different settings can change settings to make it shift or you can just see if your bike is shifting accurately.